The forecast with Corn 6 meteorologist Sally Schoen. Good evening. I hope you had a great Tuesday. You know, we've got a mixed bag of weather out there. A little bit of everything. Sun breaks, downpours, even a little bit of lightning and thunder toward McMinnville and Salem out toward Hillsboro this afternoon. 7 o'clock, we continue to see scattered showers and downpours around. Maybe even a few more lightning strikes before things calm down. 9 o'clock, lingering showers, but starting to come to an end. And then 11 o'clock, I think most of us are dry and we're down to 60 degrees. Tomorrow, looks like we start dry and then a few showers develop mid-morning. By noontime, spotty showers round 5 o'clock are high 65, so it'll feel cooler than today with a few more showers. Not wet all of the day, just some of the day. Occasional showers tomorrow. Here's live Doppler. You can see some of the heaviest stuff still out west of Portland. I'll pop this into 3D mode so you can see those towers popping up over the west hills there. It is pouring down rain in Forest Grove, but you know what? We're on the back edge of this storm that brought a few lightning strikes about an hour ago. Go now. This is all headed off to the north and the east. North Plains has been hammered with rain and maybe even some small hail. Ridgefield is underneath a decent sized cell right now, and so is Salmon Creek. And Longview, get ready for a downpour. One is headed your way. Further to the south over Mill City, we've got a decent cell. And then just to the east of Malala, all of that rolling off into the Cascades. A lot of fireworks east of the Cascades, too. Uh, another thunderstorm moving into Dayville as we speak. Here is a time. Time lapse of a shower we captured from the coin tower cam. Watch this over the Fremont Bridge. And wow, the skies darkened up and the rain came pouring down. And then just as quick as it arrived, the sun came back out. So it's it's again a really active afternoon. You turn your back and the weather changes. 69 degrees in downtown Portland and Gresham, 70 degrees out at the airport, 60s and 50s out at the coast, and 70s through the gorge. How about our high temperatures today? Not too bad, still below the mark. From where we should be this time of year. 74 is average, and we hit 71 in Portland. East of the mountains, more cloud coverage, and so we had 60s and 70s there. So, what's going on? We've got showers and thunderstorms rotating around a system that's off in the Pacific. In fact, this system's a slow mover, so it's going to impact our weather all the way through the beginning of Friday, bringing us wet weather at times. I want to show you the next 24 hours. 11 o'clock tonight, drying out for the most part. Most of the showers over the Cascades and a few spotty sprinkles at the coast. By tomorrow morning, you can see the Willamette Valley is mainly dry, a few showers over the Cascades, but by mid morning, a few more showers rotate into our skies. Our rain and cloud forecast showing us some downpours by 11 30 in the afternoon, and then it'll be really hit and miss tomorrow late in the day, kind of like it's been today. So, your forecast around the metro tomorrow mostly cloudy, cooler, and some showers and downpours developing as the morning and afternoon wear on. On Thursday, it starts dry and then some steady rain develops late in the day and continues into Friday morning. But then we're drying out Friday afternoon and into the day Saturday. Saturday still looks great. So the first weekend of summer, summer starts Thursday evening and uh, won't really feel like it then, but it will by Saturday. And then we turn wet again Sunday. Yeah, the seasons on the calendar mean nothing around no, here. Yes, they don't. Yeah. All right.